fast forward into COVID times, right? We're talking about the great resignation and what's going on around us today and need for remote work. I think we've completely missed the mark on this one because we think about this in terms of like, okay, this is all about the great upgrade yesterday, somebody said, uh, which is about pay, pay people more. But what's really going on, I think people expect more from their lives and more from work. COVID has done something that is forcing us to reconsider our own purpose. And if organizations don't understand, I think it's not the great resignation. I think it's the great rethink. We're all reimagining our lives and uh, the role of work in our lives. We want to work where uh, an organization which cares about us, but also where I'm connected to what the company does. And it means something. And if you look at Spotify, it's a great example of one where you're seeing now an employee rebellion saying, I don't really believe in the company. But Ranjay, let's just talk about this because this to me cuts two ways. One is that purpose in many ways represents culture um, and has created a culture at firms that historically didn't really have a, a central theme or thesis beyond what they did. Um, and oftentimes now there's been this sort of new purpose layer. So one question I have for you is, is this just marketing? Is this just part of of, of creating a, I don't want to say pretend culture, but a little bit, that there's a little bit of, uh, this, is, this is a bit of a market, internal marketing story to each other. But at the same time, how does this impact the idea of culture in a hybrid world? Because to the degree that you can successfully inculcate people to believe in this quote purpose, maybe they don't have to all be in the same room together. So the first thing you said, which is per there's a lot of purpose washing going on. It's really unfortunate and it plays into the hands of cynics who say this is just all a bunch of smoke screen, what people call virtuous side hustles or a virtue cloaking. And a lot of companies do this. Theranos had a purpose. A lot of these companies pull out a purpose statement when it's convenient for them. So I think we need to, but the companies I looked at, you know, you look at Microsoft, right? You look at Etsy, you look at Lego. And you look at unknown companies that you won't have heard of, Gotham Green, you look at One Mighty Mill. These organizations have found a way to really leverage purpose into something that connects with their employees. Now, you use the word culture. You see, culture is about kind of the norms and rules of behavior, how we do things here. Purpose is a why question. Now, you might say, Ranjay, this is an academic question. Why is a forcing question. It forces you to ask, what's our financial engine for growth, short-term and long-term? How are we going to create value? It's about understanding our markets and our customers so we have a clear strategic agenda. It's about engaging with your employees on a different level and saying, what do we believe in? What are we trying to achieve in, the, in this multi-stakeholder world? And do you buy into that story with us? It also connects with your customers, with your suppliers in your ecosystem. But unfortunately, too many companies take it superficially, I think, and haven't really caught on to the idea that purpose does translate to profit. And I think right. that connect is what I think we are missing right now in a lot of the popular discourse.